Hello everybody, welcome to this video where we are going to um, set up the console and the Visual Studio Code just like I have it in all my courses and videos. Many people have has told me that my console and my VS Code are as beautiful as I am. So, All right, now I created a new user, as you can see here, sexy man user. And this um, user that is not in, like customized, it's only like the same software with um, iTerm and um, Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I'm using iTerm. I'm not using the terminal app from Apple, from the Mac OS. And needless to say, this doesn't work for Windows. So if you have Windows, I'm sorry, but this video doesn't apply to you. Um, yeah, go eat some kimchi while we're done here. Uh, let's do it. So we're not gonna focus on Visual Studio Code. We're gonna focus on iTerm first. So to make this look better and more sexy and more customizable, we are going to go to a place called Oh My ZSH. To install Oh My ZSH, it's a very simple. We're gonna just copy this and paste that. By the fall. All right, now this is going to install stuff. We might have errors like always. There is never a video with no errors and we'll see what's up. Should I pause? Should I wait? Why does it take so long? Okay, let's pause this. I will see you when this is done. Bye bye. All right, so this is done and uh, um, we already have some errors here. Um, and uh, this is error always happens because there is some, some permissions and some bullshit. And it says that we need we can set the variable as zhh disable config to true before oh my zhh is uh, sourced blah blah blah. All right, so let's talk about the s zhh file. All right, so this file is the one that controls um, how you be how the console behaves. So in this file you can customize shit. For example, put this variable. So let's code. Code, this character, sorry. All right. We need to do this, that, um, Z-S-H-R-C. And as you can see, it will have lots of stuff. Like, look at that. It's super big. So what this one is saying is disable this bullshit before we source it. So we're gonna do this and true. And now to test, we're gonna kill and start again. And as you can see, now there's no problem. And as you can see, now we have ZHH, which is like an arrow here. Looks better than bash before. It looks just cool. All right, look at that. Cool. Now, on this CSHRC file, you can also do a lot of stuff. For example, I'm gonna give you an example. You can make an alias that when somebody calls Python, they should get ex actually Python tree, for example. So let me kill this again. Let's open it again. And now I'm going to call Python 3, Python, sorry, and it should open Python 3. Look at that beautiful thing. It opens Python 3. So this is when you um, will fix all your problems when, for example, you cannot find NPM or shit like that. This is where you will fix it. All right. Awesome. Next up, we need to install uh, Solarized. Oh, my. See this one. It's a very popular recipe. So first we need to install iTerm, then we need to install S, uh, Z, whatever, and let's do it. So we need to install iTerm, done, and we need to install the Solarize theme. This one, I'm gonna get it here. I'm gonna look at this beautiful thing. I'm gonna save it as a page source. As you can see, I haven't even installed Chrome. Just make sure that you install the file that iTerm colors, okay? Save, and don't append that txt. Done. Now, I think I already installed it for my other user and maybe this thing saves it, but whatever. We're gonna go to profiles, we're gonna go to colors, and here on color presets, we're going to import solarized dark patched that item colors. Open it and then select it. Solarized, there you go. It looks different. 
Yeah, it looks different. Okay, cool. So that is the solarized one. Then we need to install a theme. It's called Power Level 9K. There are a lot of themes in all my Z S H. Let's clone this bad boy. And look at that. It says that we need to uh, modify our file. This. Uh, by the way, this means on the home folder of your computer. If you don't do with this, it means on, the, on your folder where you are. And it means that we need to now put this theme there. So here we go. Pop. And it's still loading. Jesus, what the fuck is so slow? It's Korea, come on, man. Uh, before, on, on the meantime, oh my, S-D-A-S-H. I don't have, I don't use this um, term, um, color the whatever we're downloading now, which we're downloading power level 9K. I used one that is a uh, theme material. Is material theme. I think it's this one, I'm not sure. I think I use a different one, but you can use whatever you want. Yeah, it's this one, it's this one. It's called Oceanic. You can have both of them, whatever, not a big deal. All right, that's, that's what is a cool thing to have. Oh my SH. ZSH because um, look at that external teams because you can just customize it. All right. Okay. How is the download going? Fuck 23. Come on. How hard is it? Fucking hell. Look at all the teams you can have. Yeah. Finally fucking done. It took so long. Now we're gonna copy this part into our S uh, whatever that name. And I think the problem is that there is already a team here. Fuck me. All right, done. Let's kill this. And then I term. And now I want you to see that there is no, the icons are fucked up. So let's install, ignore, let's install the icons here. The, yeah, the font, there is a font. We click view row. And I will download the font. And then we're going to install the font done. And then in our, in our item, we're going to do preferences, profiles, colors, loop, text, change font, meslo, close, and close. And we kill this. And again, we open. And now look at that. Now we have icons. This thing is for Git. Um, super cool. Documents, make dear something, and then I'm gonna get in there. And if you do git init, then you have master. I'm gonna um, delete this thing because I don't wanna see which user is the one that's currently there. So here on my S whatever, I'm gonna say prompt context. I think this is the, the call, I'm not sure. And I save it like this. Let's kill it and I turn. Yep. So now as you can see, the user is not there, but you will only see the places where you are, right? And the long as user. You can use that thing to put emojis on your console. It's not as easy as just putting the emoji here, but it's, it's something like that. You can just change the way your console looks and it's awesome. All right, so we have a pretty sexy item, if you ask me. Um, crash reported this card. So it's cool, it's all right. But now we need to add that into our Visual Studio code. In this case, it looks disgusting. So let's configure it. First of all, let's change the way this looks. Material, material team, material team, we're gonna install it. And now we're gonna go to settings, nope, color team, and material team, material team. Done, that looks better. And now we're gonna change the way the console looks. So we're gonna go to settings, and let's go to terminal. And we're going to say that the terminal in Mac OS, OS X, nope, the shell, where is the shell? Shell. Yay, the shell in OS X 
is not bash, it should be zsh, and we save that. Now let's kill this console and open a new one. And now as you can see, it's zsh, and it's with the same configuration that we don't see the user. It's the same almost here. The problem is the font. The font looks shit. So I'm gonna say font family terminal. There you go, terminal, terminal font family. I am gonna down, get the name of the font that I downloaded, Meslo LG and regular for power line. I'm gonna open the string, close the string, and now, what, let's delete regular. Let's see, there you go, it works. And now it looks beautiful, and now we have the everything and it looks okay. See the documents, something, and we have master and everything working, all right? So we just copy the name of the font that we installed and we delete regular from the mix, okay? And we're good, look at that. Exactly how I have it, awesome. People, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. I think this one is too long, but I hope that you like it. Many people were requesting this thing because they wanted to see how I make it look nice. So that's how, very, very simple. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. And if you don't fucking like it, please let me know why. Don't just press don't like and then don't say anything. Give some feedback. If you don't like something, give, feed, give feedback. Else just shut See you in the next one. Share this to your friends, your co-workers, your families, your father, your father, your mother, everybody. Bye-bye. Mama. -bye.